What's good everybody? Welcome to Danny Gilo Biker TV. In this episode, we're going to talk about things to look out for, like fake patches, um, fake internet clubs, stuff like that. We're going to talk about that right after this. Good. Welcome back to Danny Delo Biker TV. So let's talk about you know the fake patches, the internet clubs, the the things to look out for. That just pretty much the don'ts that you just don't want to do being a biker. All right, you know there's there's throngs of patches we could go through um, that you shouldn't wear. You know it just causes attention. Like side rockers, you don't want to wear stuff like that. You know. Um, setting your 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 patches up to look like a three-piece mc you know setup it's not a good look man it really ain't it's, it's disrespectful to the clubs and um it's gonna get you attention you know even by police you know and if you don't want that type of attention you shouldn't do it you know what i mean you know black label society the sons of anarchy stuff you know all of that stuff's gonna bring attention to you that you probably don't want as an independent biker one thing I really, really want to say on here, by the way, I keep hearing this lone wolf, you know, oh, well, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I don't know. Look, man, I'm from the Midwest, y'all. And I'm going to tell you right now, all right, the only people around here that call themselves a lone wolf are the people that wear that lone wolf, no club patch, which is the lamest shit ever. Don't ever wear that crap either. It's stupid. It's the most redundant shit ever. If you're not, it's pretty simple. If you're not in a motorcycle club and you don't want to act like you're in a motorcycle club, then don't. You don't have to tell everybody you're independent. All right. You don't need your little cute little patches, your little rocker, side rocker, your little top badge, you know, telling everybody, hey, man, I'm an independent. Guess what? Stupid. We know that. We all knew that when you pulled up with no colors on <laughs> that's it's literally that simple to be an independent biker don't put no shit on don't put no colors on and you'll be good i mean <laughs> you guys kill me sometimes with this monarchy that that you guys pull man like oh, i just want everybody to know i'm independent man bro stupid they they knew they know the minute you pull up and you ain't got no mc cube you are not in a club you're an independent biker it is literally that simple. So stop this bullshit, guys. And stop listening to some of these creators on here, too, that, you know, tell you, you know, to do stuff like that. You know, I've seen a few out there. You know, they're smaller guys, but, you know, I've seen a few like, hey, man, you know, if you don't want anybody to think you're in a club, you know, just put an independent patch or, or your lone wolf patch. No, stupid. Don't do it. Do, don't do any of that. Don't do any of that. You're, you're, you're trying too hard, you know, and, and guys that have been in the MC world whether they're one percenters or not man we'll, we'll stand there and watch you pull up with a lone wolf patch on it we laugh at you we t we talk shit sometimes we might even mess with you because that's how lame you look and that's how stupid it is to be wearing that crap so quit calling yourselves a lone wolf you're not a lone wolf you're just an independent biker that's it you're just a biker man you're out here riding your bike which to me nowadays is probably the best way to go you know you can build brotherhood and bonds with your friends and bros that ride you can build that and ride around with your guys every night go out bar hopping go out partying go out riding go on trips do stuff like that and you don't have to wear no colors man you ain't in that politics and, and bs you know what i'm saying you ain't gotta worry about getting shot off your motorcycle or run over by some asshole in a f-150 you know i mean don't get me wrong as bikers we got to worry about that every day but you know what i'm saying you don't have to worry about the bs man you can ride your bikes hang out with your brothers and have a good time and to me that's what it's all about at the end of the day that's even what the mc world used to be about nowadays i don't know it's kind of turning into uh 
kind of turning into legitimately anarchy on the street you know what i mean so that's things to look for the other thing to look for is you know these internet clubs all right we've all seen them you know they pop up via internet look guys i can't express this enough man you are not in a legitimate motorcycle club unless one of your brothers draped your colors over your back or put them on for you all right it's it's simple no legitimate motorcycle club sends you their colors through the mail all right <laughs> it's just it don't work that way and why people really think that that's cool and that that's just like this new way of joining a club now it's beyond me man it, it really truly is I, I don't know man maybe i'm just too old school in my mind when it comes to certain things man but no you are not on a legitimate motorcycle club unless you earn them colors with a brother all right they don't get mailed to you you know the guy that drapes your colors over your back shouldn't be a fedex driver plain and simple or a U ups driver i mean come on man Let, let's stop the bullshit all right which brings me to the point of the hour now i've had throngs of you throughout the years of my career on youtube and tiktok asking me what did i think about this little cholo dude that runs around the internet you know mr one percenter.com over there i've had throngs of you ask me what do i think about him and then recently i did a little spoof on tiktok and he clapped back on youtube and um i've had a, a ton of you guys email me texting me yo man did you see that video sending me links and um you know i don't have a lot to say about that video what i'm gonna what i will say first of all is it's cute it really is um see that's the difference between a real one percenter and some guy that's trying to make everybody believe that he's real i don't have to explain myself <laughs> it's that simple it was legitimately that simple i've got better shit to do than the channel bang with some punk kid that thinks he's somebody you know he's a great writer i will point that out he's a great writer he writes a bunch of stuff in books he's written a couple books you should check him out he's written stuff on the internet and things like that but he's basically he's a writer he's fictional just like the character he plays in his little youtube videos you know yeah, I'm, I'm mr one percenter eh come on bro you ain't no one percenter man stop it stupid see my only problem with these with, with that guy is you know you can't come on the internet and preach old school one percenter stuff and then turn around and slap one percenters in the face so you can't you can sit on the internet and talk about you know yeah i'm paying my homage and my respects to the forefathers who laid the one percenter pavement that i ride on well if you were doing that you would get a blessing and anybody in the MC world knows what I'm about to say. There's two key words that will tell you what kind of individual you're dealing with. The guy that says permission and the guy that says blessing. Because it's two different words, two different meanings. Now, when you ask for a proper blessing to start a motorcycle club, you go to your local dominant. You sit down with them. You give them your patchwork. You give them your mission statement. You hang out with them. Let them get to know you a little bit. Let them know who you are. You don't email them. You don't do internet bullshit. You go to their clubhouse and you actually sit down and talk to them like men. And then you get your proper blessing. And your blessing is the 1% club saying, hey, these guys are recognized on the MC set. Now you're officially a real motorcycle club in the motorcycle club world. That is paying homage and respect to the forefathers who laid the road that I ride on. That's how you do that. So anybody that you see, you know, these clowns, man, coming on the internet talking about, you know, blah this and blah that and writing these huge books and articles on facebook and and trying to make everybody believe that they're just the realest dude on earth 
and they're all so old school one percent but then they say stuff like i shouldn't have to ask permission come on bro shut up man you ain't you don't know nothing about the mc world because you ain't never actually been involved in it you know what i'm saying see this character has came on the internet and his big plan and future is to develop this national big one percent motorcycle club and you know what man there's some guys that are involved in his club i'm sure are probably some real dudes unfortunately they don't know any better or they're just sick of the bs and they don't care that i can actually respect but these guys that join these internet things and they get their patches in the mail and then they put them on and then they're cruising around and then they get checked and they're trying to figure out man why did i just get beat up why do these guys take my colors like why am i getting so much shit out here what what the hell because you're nobody you didn't get your blessing like a proper blessing proper protocol it's real simple man see everybody can go on the internet and say hey man i'm gonna put this on i'm gonna do what i want ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do i don't ask permission from nobody eh? we can all say that on the internet but when you're actually on your motorcycle and you're actually riding in areas where motorcycle clubs are at you know not no small town of 500 people in a little remote area like palmyra virginia or some crazy thing like that like <laughs> you could cruise around those kind of areas on back roads all day long ain't nobody seeing you there ain't no clubs anywhere within a thousand miles from you so you can get away with that kind of stuff but coming into a real motorcycle club area let me know how that works out for you I mean, that's all I can really say to that, you know? I mean, yeah, I know the guy came on here and, oh, he was only a member for three weeks, and blah, 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 and, you know, all this BS, man. Look, you know, like I said, I'm not going to explain myself to no punk kid or any of you. Um, most of you already know where I come from, who I am, and you already know that's funny, right? But those that don't, all I can say is, ask Black Dragon, ask Hollywood, if I'm this nobody in the MC world, I got no respect to my old club. I was only around for a short time and that's it. And I'm just a punk ass punk. <laughs> Ask them about that. See, that, and that's the difference between guys like me and guys that are clowns that come on the internet talking that BS. I can prove every statement that I make in my videos every single one of them and I don't even have to say it people will comment on here going this dude's real bro he's for real now that don't mean I'm a badass that don't mean I'm a tough guy you know it, it doesn't mean any of that what it means is that I'm a real ass dude I am really out there I'm really respected and I'm a real person and that my friend is truly the difference between a guy like me and a guy like you, Mr. Cholo. See, I've asked many clubs. I've called, oh, I don't know, seven of the big 1% clubs. Nobody knows you. Nobody's ever met you. Nobody's ever seen you anywhere. But then all you got to do is call about me. And they'll tell you, yeah, D-Lo. One of his nicknames is Fester. You know, he'd be all over Lake County, Illinois. He'd be all over Chicago, Wisconsin. He's a righteous dude. Even people that don't like me will tell you, he cool, man. He righteous, but fuck him. I don't like him. That's the big difference between guys like me and guys like you, homeboy. I'm not an internet guy. I'm not an internet banger. The work I put in in this world was on the streets. I didn't email anybody. You feel me? So hate away, homeboy. I'm not just some internet character. Sorry. I know a lot of people wanted me to go back and forth. And I know he was expecting some big statement threatening, you know, like he did. No, you're cute to me. You're amusing. You're a clown. And <laughs> you're irrelevant to guys like me. So until the next episode, y'all. 
Keep it real and keep it 100. I'll let y'all, man. Peace.